Hai, hari ini kita akan buat recap sedikit ulang kaji untuk chapter 1 Computer System So, kalau anda lihat untuk chapter 1 Computer System, the first subtopic 1.1 System Concept So, you have to explain the operations involved in information processing cycle we have uh, input process output storage and analyze the use of information processing cycle into this technology so before that you have to know what is information processing cycle okay so, sequence of events in processing information that include input, okay, process, output, and storage. Okay, so if you see input is a process of entering data. Okay, enter data. Okay, process of entering data and instruction into the memory of computer. Or we can say computer accept data and instruction. Second, we have process. You see process transform. Okay, data, data into information. Okay, information. Okay, uh, computer transform or uh, convert data into information. Okay, next we have output, process of conveying information to the user. Okay, computer convey information to the user. Okay, so if you see this uh, diagram, IPO model, so anda perlukis dengan betul. Okay, make sure all the errors are attached to the symbol okay so if you see um, this is an example uh, question for bahagian E okay so empat marka kalau anda lihat sini empat marka okay they are four operation involved in information processing life cycle identify and state the operation of information processing cycle. So if you see the information which has been processed is produced in useful usable form by people. So jawapannya adalah output. So make sure anda tulis dengan betul O U T P U T. So if you see output data has been processed into a useful form. So, keyword kat sini, form. Okay, number two, the data is being manipulated or transformed into information. Okay, so kalau anda lihat, <coughs> um, untuk proses, it's a process of transforming data into information. So, if you see, keyword here, manipulated or transformed. Okay, so the answer is process. The process to keep data, information, and programs in a computer processed form. So here the keyword is keep data. So the answer is storage. Okay. Remember storage? Okay, we computer hold data, save data. Okay, for future use. Next, we have data which is entered or captured electronic for processing. So, the keyword here, entered or captured. This is the keyword. So, the answer is input. Okay. So, basically, remember input, computer accept data and instruction. Okay. So, next, we have uh, another question. Okay, so I'm moving to scenario. 
Okay, example we have using touch and go. Okay, so this is touch and go. Okay, so if you see input, okay, remember input, the keyword is like we enter data, computer accept. So in this scenario, using touch and go. Okay, okay, before that, remember these tips. You have to explain, should explain what the computer or machine do and not human do. Okay, so explain what the computer or machine do. So for the scenario, so using touch and go, read, okay, use verb, suitable verb like read, entry, target, location, read, entry, target, date. Read balance, read exit to gate time. So, this is all suitable answer. Lah. For process, okay, check balance. Okay, calculate amount to deduct or update balance. So, this is for process. So, process usually computer transform data into information. Just now we do input, input our input is data. So, it will be processed. Okay. The next, output. So, if you see output, process of conveying information to the user. To the user. So, for example, you can use show amount of deduction. Show balance. Okay. If got any errors, display errors. Message. If the balance is not sufficient. Okay. Next, we have storage, store balance, okay, amount deducted, store data and time, store history of transaction. So basically, this is the how you want to answer for scenario questions. Remember, use these tips. Shall explain what the computer or machine do. Ini contoh soalan uh, bahagian B. A lecturer plans to calculate the coursework mark at the end of each semester. Coursework mark are total marks for quizzes, assignment and groups, project. Based on the given scenario, explain the operation of information processing cycle to display the coursework mark. So if you see we have Three marks. So for input, remember. Okay, before that, you must explain what the computer or machine do, not the lecturer do. Okay, so for input, mark for quizzes, assignment, and group project. For process, sum all the marks or total all the marks. For output, display all the marks. Okay. So this example, okay, for answer the scenario question. Untuk soalan-soalan berbentuk scenario, so anda boleh menggunakan this keyword, okay. Example for input, you can use accept, read, receive, okay. Example accept mark, read mark, okay. For process, verifying, how click, data. Multiple, okay. For output, you can use like display, show, print, print mark, print balance, okay. For storage, store, keep, and save. 